how Absolutely. I became. And within two year timing, I guess I spoke somewhat of an English and moving to Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, that was also my late father who connected to his nephew who lived in Lowell. And that was because of the influx of uh, many family. There were refugees coming to Lowell and that's how I came to Lowell. And I guess I set my root here and, and that was it. Uh, that was part of that yeah. as well. But training, again, never stopped. It was just one of those things that I was constantly seeking to, I guess, not so much as finding purpose, but to find out uh, what am I supposed to do here? I jumped right in, matter of fact, in terms of helping the many family that landed in Lowell. They didn't speak any English, but they needed a translator to help set kids to different schools. And I kind of volunteer, they kind of volunteer me into that role. And that's part of it as well. Yeah, you have a very extraordinary upbringing. And it just sounds like for whatever reason, God's, God's destiny, um, however you want to call it, it just sounds like your spiritual training started at a very extreme, extremely young age. And <laughs> to live as a refugee and and go through that kind of war-torn suffering is unimaginable and then to come to the states and to be as successful as you've become 